Math 5 Quarter 2 Week 8 Milk Base Let's learn about Definition and Description of a Proportion Lesson 3 Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Math 5, we will discuss about definition and description of a proportion. After going through this lesson, you are expected to Define and describe a proportion. The two ratios are proportional if the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. Thus, proportion means the two ratios are equal. Extremes, 24 times 1 equals 24. The means, 3 times 8 equals 24. The two ratios are equal. It shows proportion. To find proportion, we can use cross multiplication. 24 times 1 equals 24 and 3 times 8 equals 24. Copy the picture using the grid lines as a guide. Then count the squares carefully. Illustrate the figure. What do you see in the figure? The figure is a cat. What do you think of this figure? Is it proportion or not? As you can see in the figure, the head and the body of the cat is proportion. But the cat has a tail. Its tail is at the left side. We can say that this cat, with its tail, is not proportion. Let us explore and discover the answer to the given problem. Cassandra uses 3 kilos of sampalok to make 24 dozens of sampalok candy. What is the ratio of the number of sampalok candy to the number of sampalok used? The ratio of sampalok candy to sampalok is... 24 to 3 or 24 is to 3. We can form another ratio from 24 is to 3 by reducing this to lowest term. 24 is to 3. The terms are 24 and 3. The GCF between the terms is 3. So divide its terms by 3. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. And 3 divided by 3 equals 1. So, these quotients are the lowest term. 8 is to 1. So, 24 is to 3 is equal to 8 is to 1. Now, let's do learning task 1. Draw a heart if each given ratio shows proportion. And draw a star if it does not. Number 1. 3 is to 9 equals 9 is to 27. Here is the solution. First, Multiply the extremes. 3 times 27 equals 81. Next, multiply the means. 9 times 9 equals 81. So, what do you see? Are they proportion or not? Very good! It is proportion. Draw a heart. Number 2. 7 is to 1 equals 5 is to 3. Here is the solution. First, Multiply the extreme. 7 times 3 equals 21. And the means, 1 times 5 equals 5. So what do you see? Are they proportion or not? Very good! The given ratios are not proportion. So the answer is... Star! Number 3. 15 is to 5 equals 5 is to 15. Here is the solution. Multiply the extremes. 15 times 15 equals 225. And the means, 5 times 5 equals 25. What do you see? Are they proportion or not? Very good! 
they are not proportion, so the answer is a star. Number 4. 8 is to 2 equals 4 is to 1. Here is the solution. Multiply the extremes. 8 times 1 equals 8. And the means? 2 times 4 equals 8. Are they proportion or not? Very good! These ratios are proportion. So the answer is a heart. And number 5, 6 is to 20 equals 12 is to 40. Here is the solution. Multiply the extremes. 6 times 40 equals 240. And the means? 20 times 12 equals 240. Are they proportion or not? Very good! This ratio are proportion. The answer is a heart. For learning task 2, read and analyze the problem. A bag of NNN sweets contains just yellow and orange sweets. For every two yellow sweets, there are six orange sweets. Complete the table below, then answer the questions that follow. So let's complete the table. In the first row, we have yellow sweets. As you can see, the divisibility is 2. So just count by 2's. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. In the second row, we have orange sweets. As you can see, the divisibility is 6. So count by 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. And let's total the yellow and orange sweets. 2 plus 6 equals 8. Next, 4 plus 12 equals 16. Or you can use the skip counting by 8 because the divisibility of total sweets is 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. And now for the first question, what is the ratio of orange to yellow sweets? The ratio of orange is 6, and the ratio of yellow is 2. So the ratio is 6 is to 2, or in lowest term, is 3 is to 1. 6 is to 2 equals 3 is to 1. Second question, if you have 8 yellow sweets, if you have 8 yellow sweets, how many orange sweets will you have? So, 8 yellow sweets? How many orange? Very good! There are 24 orange sweets. For every 8 yellow sweets, there are 24 orange sweets. Number 3. There are 32 sweets in the medium sized bag. How many yellow will there be? So, there are 32 sweets. The question is, how many yellow will there be? There will be 8 yellow sweets. Number 4. In the extra large bag, there are 40 sweets. How many orange will there be? So, 40 sweets. The question is, how many orange will there be? There will be 30 orange sweets. And number 5. You look into the sweets in a bowl and found 16 yellow sweets. How many sweets are there in the bowl? Let's add, skip counting by 2. Yellow, 12, 14, 16. Orange, 36, 42, 48. Total sweets, 48, 56, 64. 16 yellow sweets. The question is how many sweets are there in the bowl? There are 64 total sweets. Learning Test 3 Solve the given problems Number 1 What number compared to 10 is the same as 25 compared to 5? Here is the solution Missing is to 10 equals 25 is to 5 First, multiply the means 10 times 25 equals 250 Then divide 250 by 5 250 divided by 5 equals 50. So the missing number is 50. 50 is compared to 10. Or 50 is to 10. So 50 times 5 equals 250. Number 2. 
Juliana saved 60 pesos in 4 weeks. At this rate, how long will it take to generate 300 pesos? Here is the solution. 60 is to 4 equals 300 is to the missing number. First, multiply the means. 4 times 300 equals 1,200. Then divide by 60. 1,200 divided by 60 equals 20. So the missing number is 20. And multiply 60 times 20 equals 1,200. And number 3, a motorist traveled 240 km in 3 hours. At the same rate, how long will he take to reach 400 km distance? So the given is... 240 is to 3 equals 400 is to missing number. First, multiply the means. 3 times 400 equals 1,200. Then divide by 240 equals 5. So, the answer is 5. 5 hours. Then multiply the extremes. The answer is 1,200. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!